Hello learners, how are you? Welcome to another interesting class. Our topic today is forgive others. Our topic is what? Forgive others. But what is forgiveness? Forgiveness is a decision made to free yourself from holding on to the feeling of revenge. I'll take that again. Forgiveness is a decision made to free yourself from holding on to the feeling of revenge. Now, when someone offends you and you refuse to forgive, that is not good. But when you let it go, that is what? Forgiveness. When should we forgive others? When should we forgive people who has offended us? There's no particular time when we should not forgive. Don't say, I am not in a good mood right now. Go when I'm in a good mood, you come out forgiving. No. At any point in time, forgive anyone who has offended you. We should forgive other people when they offend us at any point in time. Any time, forgive. So you'll be free, right? Now, we should forgive others when they ask for forgiveness. When someone has the courage and walk up to you and say, Oh, I'm sorry for what I did the other day. Please forgive them. Importance of forgiveness. Why is it necessary for us to forgive? Why is it important? Forgiveness makes you stay in peace with everyone. That is true. Now, when you forgive someone who has offended you, you are at peace with your neighbor. You are at peace with your friend. You are even at peace with yourself. Okay, so forgiveness makes you what? Stay in peace with everyone, including yourself. Forgiveness makes your heart feel free. Yes. Imagine when 10 person offends you and you're holding all those people to your heart. It will be very, very heavy for you. But when you let them go, when you forgive them, your heart feels free. Forgiveness builds stronger relationship. Forgiving other people build a stronger relationship. If you have a fight with your friend, don't hold it too long. Forgive, and then your friendship becomes stronger. Forgiving others builds self-esteem. I know most of you will say, Ms. Baker likes this topic, self-esteem. Yes, if you're angry at someone, and other people are playing and they are expressing their feelings. Because you're holding someone to ransom, because you're angry at someone, you will not be bold enough to speak. But when you don't have any feeling, any bad feeling for anybody, you'll be free to express yourself any time. So, forgiving other people is very, very what important. Let it go, okay? And you have your peace. How to show that you are forgiving someone? Give a smile. Smile to them. Oh, never mind. I have forgiven you. Let's be friends again. Give a hug. All right? Give them a hug. Help out. Whatever it is your friend is doing, try to help out to show that you have what? Forgiven. You can also give a gift. Because if you give other people a gift and you don't give Stella, she will say, Oh, I'm angry at her. No. Hmm? So give everyone a gift to show that you have what? Forgiven. Don't remind them anymore. Don't remind them of what has happened. Don't remind them of the fights. If you're having a fight or probably you guys are talking and they say, that's how the other day you offended me. No. Don't bring it up again. Don't gossip. Don't keep telling your friend, we had a fight. But I've forgiven him. No, no, no. Don't bring it up at any point in time. If you are forgiven, forget it. Okay? And you see that the world will be a peaceful place. Now, these are five words that works magic in forgiveness. These are five magic words. Please. Please, I'm sorry. Excuse me. All right? I'm sorry goes a long way it softens the heart when you say oh i'm so sorry oh, did i offend you oh i'm sorry i wasn't aware i wasn't thinking say sorry it doesn't take anything away from us and then the world will be peaceful say thank you 
If someone does something good to you, say something. Thank you. If someone forgives you, say, oh, thank you very much. All right? Pardon me. These five words works magic in forgiveness. All right? And if we can learn to use them, the world will be a peaceful place. The golden rules. This golden rule states that treat others the way you wish to be treated. Treat others the way you wish to be treated. Now, how would you want someone to respond to you when you do something wrong? You would want to be forgiven, isn't it? Then do the same. Okay, when you forgive people, even when you offend, people will also forgive you. That is the golden rule for you. I have a short story for you here. The Hungry Bee. Watch it and understand better how forgiveness works. Him said. 
said the angry bee. Okay, said the bees. We'll see you later then. The angry bee started to feel a little bit sad. He missed flying with the other bees. And he wanted to go on flower hunts again. And help make honey. I could be happy again, the bee said. And I could do all my favorite things. All I have to do is forgive. He thought about it. And then... Alright, now you watch what happened there. He was angry with his friend, but he didn't know that he was missing out of the whole fun activity. So when you're angry at someone, you're indirectly affecting yourself. Now look at the way he turned red because he was angry. He missed out flying with them. He missed out um, making honey. He missed out in the fun race. At the end of the day, his friend came to him and said, Oh, let's go our normal activities together. He said, no, I'm still mad at him. And they said, okay. And they went and they had fun. So he missed out. But the moment he forgave, you can see he became his normal self again. So holding on to a feeling of anger is not nice at all. Now, the moral of the story, who can tell me what he or she has learned in the story? I'm listening. Mm, that's a nice try. Okay, I'll tell you. When we forgive, we are happy again. Now, when the bee refused to forgive, he sat down there, okay, and he was angry, and he was not happy. But the other bee were going about their normal activities, and they were happy. He sat there angry. But the moment he forgave, he was happy again. When we forgive, we are free to express ourselves and also play with our friends. He was holding on to anger. He sat and then he couldn't express himself. He was not having fun with his friend. But the moment he forgave, okay, he expressed himself and they went playing together. So, today I'm going to tell you this. If anyone offends you, please feel free, okay? Don't hold it for too long. Forgive. Let it go. Okay? And have your peace. Because if you keep bottling anger, you find out that you be the one that will lose at the end of the day. You're holding on to yourself indirectly. Because you're carrying a long face. You're not happy. You're not smiling. No. No. Let it go. Let it go. All right? Thank you, children, for your time. Thank you for listening. I hope you have learned. We'll see you in the next class. Bye and stay safe.